local insiders, Tony May at the Int, Charlie Giroux next to him. Thank you guys, as always, for being here. We've got a lot to talk about. Santorum, uh, call it We start with Santorum, and Tony, I wanted to start with you. <laughs> uh, being the Democratic strategist, Democrats happy, or they want this prolonged uh, fight to continue with the Republicans? I don't know that the Democrats are happy or unhappy, it, it, that the obvious has finally come true, but I think that uh, it's, it's a good sign for the Democratic Party that Rick Santorum has finally recognized the obvious and has suspended his campaign. It, 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 theoretically, it could, it could give a, a little bit of a jolt to the, uh, the campaign of, of Mitt Romney, but, but in reality, uh, Democrats are still just going to keep going, just staying the course. Charlie, is this going to give a jolt to Newt Gingrich? Well, it gives some opportunities and certainly some new options to Newt Gingrich. He alone can assess what those are and how he'll want to take advantage of them, but it's a very different game and a very different set of options for him than it was yesterday at this time. Char Charlie, when he says he's going to cooperate, he didn't really say he was going to support or actually he mm -hmm. didn't give any endorsement to Romney, but why is he saying that and where do you think he's I was a little that? surprised that he didn't. I mean, it was an obvious moment for him to say, I'm going to embrace Governor Romney. He didn't think that leaves the door open for some other options, as I say, but you know, look, Senator Santorum exceeded expectations in this race. He ran a race that was a very good race. Mm -hmm. He risked embarrassment in Pennsylvania. He has avoided that. He lives to fight another day if he chooses to do that. So I think that's the story for today. What comes of all this, I think, will get fleshed out over the course of the next several days. Okay, and we, we got a phone call, actually, from the Dawson County Election Board saying that Santorum will still be on the ballot here in Pennsylvania. Um, is that normal, and what does that mean for the voter? It's absolutely normal. I mean, the okay. ballots are printed at this point. You would have had to have petitioned the court a long time ago in order to have your name removed. This isn't uncommon. There are a lot of times when candidates either suspend or drop out of a race. Their name remains on the ballot. Senator Santorum will get some votes on April 24th. That's true. <laughs> whether, whether they count or not, and they won't, so right. that's work. Now, he mentioned a lot today during his press conference about his daughter, Bella, and I think that's been the focus. I've been following a lot of Twitter feeds, um, a lot of folks speaking on network television, saying that they're starting, a lot of people are saying, oh, now I kind of feel sorry for the guy. I wish he was still in the race, and it's, you know, sad to say, but certainly there's going to be the sympathy vote, I guess, even in our primary, if his name's still on the ballot. Are people going to try and embrace him to get back in? Because he has essentially just suspended his campaign. No, he was, you know, one of the questions, Tanya, that always comes up is, what does suspend a campaign really mean? Does okay. it mean that he's going to go after Texas in another month or try to go after the May primaries? Right. He was very clear. Before he said, I'm suspending my campaign, he said, I am done. Okay. So yes, there's going to be tremendous sympathy or empathy sure. for the Santorum uh, family over the condition of their daughter, their has been, there will be, yeah, their absolutely. hearts and prayers are with them, but it's not going to have, at this point, in my judgment, any effect on the election going so forward. So why have the candidates always suspended? Well, I think he's hoping to have out. some role in the process going through the con Republican convention. I mean, he wants to hold out there that I'm only suspending my campaign. I'm still a player. I've still got delegates, some anyway, a couple hundred. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I want to direct my delegates, you know, give, give me what something of value. He's going to bargain with the presidential nominee, um, the, the Romney campaign, probably not to get on the ticket, because I think that would be disastrous. But Charlie, what do you think? No, I don't think, I don't think there's a scenario under which he's the vice presidential candidate, but Tony says he only has a little block of delegates. He has a pretty significant block mm -hmm. of delegates, and he can choose how he wants to use them to his advantage and to the advantage of the point of view okay. that he advances. So, I mean, he's got a sizable chunk of delegates that will go to Tampa as Santorum delegates, and, you know, that remains to be seen how those are going to be used, but he can use them very effectively. Okay. Campaigns suspend for legal reasons more than political reasons. Right. We could discuss that at great length, but that's the true reason that they suspend rather than just end them. So okay. the race stays interesting. Yes, it does. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you. As always, you can catch our political insiders every Tuesday right here on CBS 21 News at 530.